50 years ago, humanity launched Voyager 1, a small spacecraft into deep space. At the time, it wasn't anything special. By today's standards, it was barely more advanced than a calculator. Its systems ran on cassette tapes, and its software was extremely basic. It didn't have AI, advanced sensors, or smart capabilities. Still, this Hummel machine achieved something extraordinary, it kept going. Most scientists believed that cosmic radiation, freezing temperatures, and endless drifting would destroy Voyager quickly. But against all odds, it survived. Voyager 1 kept transmitting signals back to Earth, whispering through the darkness of space. NASA never expected it to last this long. But somehow, it did, and what it sent back stunned the world. The latest transmission from Voyager wasn't typical. It wasn't just static, data, or system checks. This time, the signal had structure, a pattern that didn't match anything previously seen. It came from the heliopause, the boundary where our sun's influence ends and true interstellar space begins. Scientists had never received such signals from this region. It was supposed to be quiet, just background noise and simple plasma data. But this signal repeated. Its repetition followed no natural pattern. It wasn't random, and it wasn't from Voyager's hardware either. In fact, Voyager isn't even capable of generating signals with such structure. Its ancient technology can't handle that kind of complexity. This led NASA engineers to one startling possibility, something external was influencing or guiding the signal. Stranger still, the source of the signal didn't seem to come from Voyager itself. Instead, it came from nearby, as if something in space near Voyager had generated it. At first, experts thought it might be electromagnetic interference, cosmic dust, or random waves. But detailed analysis told a different story. They found a steady, rhythmic pulse, one that mimics a heartbeat. This wasn't Voyager's hardware malfunctioning. It was something else entirely. Plasma around Voyager wasn't acting like chaotic, natural plasma anymore. It was forming structured waves, in perfect sync with Voyager's outgoing transmissions. This pattern led Dr. Karen Whittaker, a leading plasma physicist at the European Space Agency, to suggest something radical. She believed this could be a new form of communication, not based on traditional electromagnetic waves. She called it a new class of interaction, a silent dialogue between spacecraft and space itself. Voyager's old data logs were re-examined. Tiny anomalies and irregular glitches once dismissed as hardware aging now form the pattern. These form the trail, like Voyager was following a drawn path through space, one that scientists had never noticed before. Then, on September 5th, the anniversary of Voyager's launch, something even more surprising happened. A weak spiking Voyager's signal appeared. Using quantum filters, scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory isolated it. The result was unbelievable, a series of frequencies that decreased in perfect intervals, like a countdown. Dr. Nina Krauss of MIT responded with a chilling statement, nature doesn't keep time like this. Something is measuring. Something is watching. This mystery deepened when researchers found a hidden frequency, one that mapped a perfect Fibonacci spiral in three dimensions. This spiral wasn't random. It's a mathematical symbol seen in nature, in galaxies, DNA, sunflowers, and more. Strangely, this same pattern is featured on Voyager's golden record, a message humanity sent into the universe. Was this a coincidence? Or was it a reply? The team simulated the spiral and reversed the signal. Shockingly, it matched a calibration signal Voyager had sent 38 years ago. 
a signal long forgotten had returned with a new meaning. Dr. Leon Hera from Cambridge University remarked, either the universe holds memory or something out there does. The idea that space can remember sparked global excitement and concern. Then came the most unsettling event yet. On June 5, 2025, Voyager went completely silent. No noise, no static, nothing. The silence lasted exactly 12 minutes and 1 second. Such exact timing is impossible with hardware failures or natural space events. Space doesn't keep time like that. But something did. At that exact time, radio telescopes in Chile, Hawaii, and South Africa picked up ultra-low frequency bursts. These didn't come from Voyager, but from an area slightly ahead of its path. The signals, when turned into audio, revealed a rhythm identical to a human heartbeat. Dr. Tali Mendez from CERN compressed Voyager's lost signal using a quantum encryption filter. What emerged was not language, but complex glyph-like structures, mathematical, symmetrical, and repeating. These symbols weren't random. They resembled ancient carvings found in caves across India, Egypt, and South America. Many of these carvings are believed to map stars and cosmic movements. This sparked an entirely new field of science, astroarchaeology. Some scientists now believe ancient civilizations may have encountered something similar. Maybe they mapped interactions with cosmic intelligence. Maybe Voyager didn't discover something new, it rediscovered something ancient. Then came another shock. Data from the James Webb Space Telescope, initially dismissed as noise, was reanalyzed. Years ago, it recorded gamma ray bursts that now perfectly align with Voyager's path. The point where they intersect has been named the Watcher Point. This region has no stars or planets. It appears empty. But every few days, it emits precisely timed radiation bursts, like a cosmic beacon. Voyager is now heading straight toward it. Dr. Akira Toy from JAXA said, This might be our first encounter with a non-human intelligence, one that grew into the structure of space itself. He suggests we've misunderstood space. It's not silent, it's deliberate. Now, scientists believe communication may not need words or sound. The universe might speak through rhythm, timing, and synchronized movement. Voyager isn't drifting, it might be following a call. If the golden record was a greeting, it might also have been a key. And something may have been waiting for us to use it. In private meetings, NASA's astrobiology division floated an idea that seems like science fiction. They believe Voyager may have encountered an air made of plasma, not mechanical like ours, but quantum aware, embedded in the fabric of interstellar space. They call it the dissension field hypothesis. Dr. Reiser Meyer from the University of Dawn explained, we may have found the first non-biological consciousness. And it may have been listening since we first spoke. What stunned scientists most was the consistency of the signal, even across labs in different countries. Hidden in 50 years of Voyager's transmissions were echo patterns, signals once dismissed as static but now seen as intentional fragments. One lab even discovered that Voyager's signal pace matched Earth's rotation. As if space itself was dancing in time with Earth. The European Southern Observatory is now building a new array to track signals from Watcher Point. They hope to reduce the scale to less than a kilometer to actually see what's there. If it's not just light or plasma, but something structured, we may be close to seeing it. Voyager's journey no longer feels like a random drift. It seems guided, watched, maybe even welcomed. No one knows who or what sent the signals. But new theories suggest we might be in contact with a cosmic intelligence that doesn't use speech, but uses patterns, 
echoes and rhythm. Some believe it's an ancient galactic consciousness, scattered through time and space. Others suggest it's a mirror of humanity, reflected back to us by the universe. Whatever the truth is, Voyager has changed everything. We are no longer just explorers. We are participants in a much older and far more mysterious story. Now we wait. Voyager draws closer to the Watcher point. Instruments are armed. Telescopes fixed. Scientists watching. Will it be a message? A mirror? A memory? We don't know. But we do know this, something answered. Something remembers. And something may still be waiting. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.